Greetings, this is Gintian. This is episode 2 of my Skyblock 2 series on play.skyk.net. Today we are working on building out the island. And you will see the island go from this to this to this to this. Greetings, this is Gintian, and I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel, and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Today we are going to dig down. You saw me in the last episode build a pillar of cobble, or I should say cobblestone, using a lava bucket and water pouring over the edge. Today I'm going to dig downward so that I can get to the lowest point of buildable space. That space is right above the void. Okay, now I'm going to gather up some more resources, cobblestone, uh, some picks, and I'm going to restart the water over the edge because I need to get down to that spot below and I don't want to take damage when I fall. I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to turn on the water. And now that is flowing downward. I'll give it a few minutes to spread a little further. And then I will stop the water. And before it gets all the way down, I will jump down to that lower block. Okay, let's see how I do. Success! It almost looked like I knew what I was doing. Well, what I'm going to do is clear out some of these blocks. But what I want to do is go over to this pillar of cobblestone. And work on digging my way down. Looks like the water has repeating blocks, so I can't get rid of it. But I'm just going to head down. Wow. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Yes, I died. I died, and I know exactly how I died. It's hard to see because of the water, but essentially what happened is... The pillar of cobble was not solid. I got to a point where it was missing for several blocks. So now I'm going to go to the other side and dig that down. Luckily, it went all the way down so that I can do this. And Rodney keeps teleporting to me, and then floating away. It's really disturbing when you're sitting there and he suddenly appears. I don't want to run out of blocks and fall into the void. So I'm taking it a little slower. And this looks like the lowest block. And I'm in air, and then water, and then air. So what I need to do now is build out enough of the platform and block this water in. <sighs> 
I teleported back up to grab some more stone. I should say more cobblestone. I reached the edge where I can't build any further. And now I am just expanding this. I am out of cobble. I need to go back up and build a cobblestone generator so that help so that I can create cobble and won't have to worry about running out again because I'm going to make this platform much bigger. See you in a few minutes. I'm looking for the best place to put the cobble gem. Okay, I'm back and after spending some time looking, I ended up just deciding to build it right here next to the chests. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about how to build a cobble gen I ha or a cobble generator. I have a video for that. And I go through a couple improvements here. But I have a video for building a cobble generator and I will put a link of for it in the description of this video. I don't want to fall off the edge. So I'm doing some precautionary building so that there's more room to walk around without falling off the edge. And now I'm going to add a chest and a hopper because I'm tired of losing the cobble, cobblestone. And with a hopper, I can pick it all up. And this is obviously sped up a great deal. But I still think there are things I can do to improve this. Oh, I can't open the chest because I had a stone over it. So I need to make some glass. Now I can open the chest. And we'll go back to making some more cobblestone. Trust me, we actually made a lot of cobblestone. And now you're going to see me build out the next section of the lowest floor. Out of cobblestone, of course. And I can assure you... This took a lot of actual time play to lay out all this floor, but it was time well spent, and I made some good progress. Next, I really need to do some shopping. Those golden apples I got from the vote keys actually sold for a rather good price, and that got me some money. Which, of course, I need to spend. So I'm going to go take care of all that, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, I am back, and quite a bit of time has actually elapsed since my last segment of this video. I actually found a place where I can use a grinder, which means I could sit there and kill off blazes and get the experience points. So you'll see I have 139 levels and I'm going to use those. What I purchased was what you see behind me in this still. I realize it's not a video. I purchased the enchanting table and the bookcases so that I could create an enchanting area 
and use these levels to create enchanted books and then sell those on the auction. I have to explain the auction and P-Warps in a later episode. Don't have time to go into that right now. But the other key thing that happened during this grinding time was I got a Lunar Key. A Lunar Key is a, is a key that is purchased by some member of the server. And when they purchase one, I think they're about $9 US, everyone on the server gets this key. They're better than vote keys. I turned it in and I got a set of mining gear, which turned out to be pretty good. This includes the miner's chest plate, you can see here, haste 2 protection on breaking, the miner boots protection and unbreaking, and a trusty pickaxe, which is efficiency 5, fortune 3, mending, and unbreaking, so I can go back and Use the EXP grinding farm to get more experience and mend this pick so it should never run out. May not sound it right now, but I can't tell you how excited I was when I got this. It really made my day. It also greatly sped up my ability to make cobblestone. So with that, I'm going to start my next project, and that is I'm going to start working on a cactus farm. And I'm going to go build it over the, on the edge and then expand the area out so that the farm is within a single chunk. If you want to see chunks, you can see them by pressing F3 and G. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off first with marking the corner of the chunk. I have chunks turned on so I can see them. And I discovered that for this chunk to be complete, it has to go all the way out to that point. There where you see the two sand blocks. So I need to build in this floor out of cobblestone so that I can build the entire area of the cactus farm. I finish that up and now I'm gonna mark the whole perimeter and then I'll go ahead and put in the sand blocks and that gives us the basic bottom of the cactus farm and now I'm putting in a crop hopper and I will link to the chess I'll provide a link in the description to my video explaining crop hoppers and how they link to chests. So what I'm gonna do now is put a glass perimeter around the edge. And that's all the time we have today. So I will see you in my next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>